Good morning students and welcome to your EBS class. Dear students, today I will teach you a new lesson. Lesson 16, Means of Transport. Children, do you know what is transport? What is vehicles? In this lesson, you will get both these terms. Transport and vehicles. These are the two most uh, important ter terms that we are going to use in this lesson. So let's talk about transport first. What do you mean by transport? Transport is an action through which we carry people, animal and goods or things from one place to another place. From one place to another place, we carry people, animals and things. So, it is an action through which we move, we take people, animals and things from one place to another place. This action is called as transport. And the next one is, the next term is vehicles. The next very important term that we are going to read or get in this lesson is vehicles. What do you mean by vehicles? Vehicles are the moving object. Vehicles are the moving object which carries people, animal and things from one place to another place. Vehicles are the moving object such as car, truck, lorry, ambulance, aeroplane, boat, ship, helicopter and so on. There are three means of transport. There are commonly three main means of transport. What are they? They are, the number one is land transport, land transport. Let's talk about land transport first. The first means of transport is land transport. The vehicles, the moving object, vehicle means the moving objects, the vehicles which move on land, which move on land or you can also say on road are called as land transport. Children, you might have seen, you have seen lots of vehicles around you. It is the most common means of transport that we see every day. We see many land of land transport every day and we use in our day to day life also such as bike, scooter, cycle, auto rickshaw, car, bus, lorry, ambulance, truck, train. All these are example of land transport. Why do we call these things as land transport? Example of land transport is car, bus, truck, train. Why do we call them as land transport? Children, Car, bus and truck, they moves on road. They moves on road. So they are also called as roadways. They are also called as roadways because you can see these car, bus and truck moving on road. But train. You cannot see a train running on the road. Okay? Train runs on, train runs on the tracks. Train runs on the tracks. So, it is, so in, 
land transport you will find two kinds of transport one is one no, such transport which moves on road and trains so which moves on tracks so these comes under these uh, vehicles comes under land transport next next is number 2 
in a long distance we use ship so these are the vehicles which moves on water so there are three means of transport land transport air transport and water transport train runs on track train is the fastest means of land transport next is air transport air transport is the fastest means of transport but it is costly it saves our time but it is costly and the third one is water transport water transport is the slowest water transport is the slowest and the cheapest means of transport some of the examples of water transport are boat ship and ferry boats are used to cover a small distance while ship are used to go for long distance for covering long distance we use ship the captain is the head of the ship is the the, the captain runs the ship next is let's talk about the number of wheels wheels children you can write see in page number 29 these vehicles do not have wheels you can see there are four vehicles without wheels so you have to write the number of wheels that they have it is a bicycle how many wheels are there in a bicycle as we all know that a bicycle have two wheels it is a two wheeler transport so we will write so it is two is already written here so similarly you also have to write you have to write the number of wheels in each uh, in each vehicle it is a car a car has four wheels so you will write four in this box next is bus a bus has eight wheels so you will write a rickshaw a rickshaw has three wheels so you will write three in this box now children let's talk about these means of transport you have to do this work in your book what you have to do here name these vehicles and write l for land transport w for water transport and a for air transport children you can see there are many pictures of vehicles there are many pictures of vehicles some are related with air transport some are water transport and some are a uh, land transport so you will identify the picture and mark l for land transport a for air transport and w for water transport let's talk about some rules that we have to follow while traveling through a bus when we travel through a bus we should never board a moving bus wait for it to stop we should not travel in a moving bus next is keep your head arms and hands inside the bus form a queue while getting in or off a bus children when we board inside the bus we should make a queue we should make a line while moving inside or coming outside the bus do not try to get off a moving bus do not try to come outside a moving bus it will hurt you or accident may occur so you should not get off from a moving bus next is do not disturb the driver while driving we should not talk with the driver when he was driving take your seat and sit down when we move through a bus we have a ticket so in which ticket 
number seat number is written so we should see the seat number and we should take our seat and sit down we should not move inside the bus here and there keep your bags under your seat or on your lap so that your luggage will be safe next throw wrappers peels and used items outside or inside the bus may hurt someone we should not throw any wrapper or peel of chocolate chips and other items inside the bus or outside the bus it will it will hurt people next is hold the handle of the bus hold the handle of the bus while moving in the while boarding inside a bus while when you hold the handle of the bus it will gives you support so that you will uh, not get this balance and you can get inside the bus easily so always hold the handle of the bus do not push any one children when you are moving through a bus inside the bus or when you are boarding a bus do not push people do not push people okay it will uh, hurt them it will hurt them or they will get injured so we should keep this in mind and uh, we should always follow these rules while moving through a bus so children i hope that the all the concept of the, about all about the concept of me uh, the transport system vehicles is now clear to all of you and you now you will be able to answer about what is transport vehicles and different modes of transport so i hope children that you will watch this video at your home and you will also learn from it okay till then keep learning and do take very good care of yourself we will meet soon in our next video thank you children